Dr. Blair Feltme is a professor at the University of Waterloo, and he deals with the environment. And he joins me right now because you're saying that we are always going to have global warming. It's just a matter of degree. So we shouldn't just sit back, though, and take it. There are things we can do as opposed to, quote, fighting global warming. That is exactly correct. So we can adapt to the extreme weather risk that, that's on the ground today. We have just saw a lot of flooding in BC and in the Maritimes. We saw a heat dome last summer in British Columbia. We see forest fires uh, happening with increasing frequency and magnitude. So when these things happen, uh, we don't have to be a victim of circumstance. There's, there's actions we can take to minimize the damage that realize, is realized due to these events with, by the way, flooding be at the, being at the, the very Big top of the heap in Canada. The most well, we know how to deal with flooding. I mean, the Netherlands deals with flooding all the time. I mean, so the technology is there. We just aren't doing it. Is that correct? That is correct. So the, the, the good news is in Canada over the last, I would say, five or six years, we've developed a very good guidance on how to mitigate flood risk at the level of the home, the individual home, right. new community design, how to build new communities going forward that don't flood out, how yeah, to not, 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 not build them on old lakes. Yeah, well, it's, or, or don't build on a floodplain period, right. number one. Or how to take existing communities and identify where is the water going to go when the big storms hit, and let's put the structures in place to send water to a safe location and keep people out of harm's way. We can do all that. The problem is we're not doing it. Well, I was just going to say, you've done, and your team has done a number of studies, and it's not as though we don't know what to do. It's as though governments are saying, we're out there fighting climate change, but they aren't dealing with the, res you know, the, the results of climate change, which is like flooding. Yeah, you just hit the nail right on the head. There, there is, therein lies the problem. The problem with Canada is we do not, including governments at all levels, federal, provincial, right. municipal, they do not understand the need to act with a strong sense of urgency, urgency, to put the measures in place to mitigate the risk that is for sure coming. Well, I'm sure the people in BC who are flooded out would rather have some flood controls there as opposed to someone saying, we're going to cut oil and gas emissions. That's exactly correct. And by the way, we've actually done a lot of analytics on this topic and other places around the world. Right. We know that for every $1 spent on adaptation, putting measures in place to mitigate risk, that produces between about 3 to $8 in savings per 10-year period through avoided losses just by putting preparedness in place. So a return on investment of $1 in produces 3 to $8 in savings per 10-year period if we deploy adaptation now. So Blair, um, why has this happened? Why have people allowed our governments to go out there blowing hot air about fighting climate change, and we haven't been dealing with the nickels and dimes? We haven't been dealing with the things that we know how to do, like flood control. Because we've been... In Canada, there's almost 97% of the discussion on climate change, up to maybe just a couple of years ago, yeah. was on mitigating greenhouse gas emissions. But adapting to extreme weather risk was seen as sort of this distant cousin that nobody wanted to talk about, because they saw it as that if we embrace efforts to put adaptation measures in place, they saw it as capitulation or throwing in the towel, or are we just giving up on climate change? And that was the mentality. Well, it's got to change. And thank you very much for over three minutes. But the bottom of this, we are going to have the details where you can find Dr. Feldman's studies. Thank you very, very much for watching and for engaging in the three minutes, which will carry you through most discussions for the day. 2022 is going to be a very, very tough year. Stay with us. Please tell your friends to subscribe and PayPal. Thanks.